Hello everybody, Zath back with another ship preview. This time, we're gonna take a look at the Montpellier. There it is, right there, buddy. Uh, actually, I wonder... You know what? Let's switch ports. This is an American ship after all, right? There we go. That looks a little bit better. Here is our Montpellier, Pillier, Pillier, Tyler, however you want to pronounce it. And um, just like in some of the other videos, I'm going to walk you through a battle, just any old battle, um, and we'll see what we do. So let's, let's uh, first of all, I guess before we get to Captain Build, let's talk about the consumable options and upgrades. Um, there's so many things to do when you get new ships, so it takes a little while to, you know, to max out all the things. Obviously, we want radar over catapult fighter or catapult scout. We are not doing this 100% maximum team play, mean comp build, whatever. Uh, we don't need spotter, therefore, so we'll do main armaments. Now, this ship is supposedly just like a Cleveland, so let's see what happens. Let's go with some extra defensive fire spiciness. Uh, what does this do? I can't remember. Number of explosions produced by salvos. Well, this could be useful. I guess we can try it. I usually do uh, accuracy, but this ship spams HE so much. I kind of feel like I don't need that. Now, maneuverability. Alright, I generally, as long as it's under 10 seconds, I'll switch and go to propulsion. If it's over 10 seconds, then I'll switch to steering gears. Just general flavor. Um, and obviously concealment here. Alright, so that takes care of our consumables and that sort of thing. Flags, I'm going to run my super test flag and my military month contributor flag because lol bonuses are great. Juliet Charlie. Uh, I have a general rule when I get to like 300 or something of these things, I just I just use them. Um, I've got so many special economic flags as well now. It's getting to the point where I might just stop using like these special flags and go for special economic ones. Uh, I do like to run a couple of combat flags typically. Um, Cleveland especially I think would benefit from fire chances and stuff like that. Uh, I have more of the Ouroboros, so I'll run that. So essentially I've got three combat flags and a whole bunch of um, combat flags, or uh, econ flags. Uh, Montpelier camo is okay, but I prefer community contributor camo because it just gives me so many more good stuff. And uh, I'm smog, I'm all about getting the good stuff. Okay, before I get into battle, let's take a look at what I can do for my captain build. Party targets a duh. Uh, adrenaline rush is a duh. Uh, this is my Cleveland captain, and it's gonna be my Cleveland captain for random battles. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think here for a second. We see so many carriers. Um, I almost want to go for BFT. And do like a, a silly max anti-air build. Um, demo expert, I think, is still going to be useful, and of course, IFAG is going to be useful too. So let's do that. Concealment, bacon, some extra penetration. So now we have one tier three skill and then one tier two skill available to us. Uh, superintendent would be great if I got heal. It does not get a heal. Um, could also go manual anti-air, but I don't think so. BFT, I, I just, I don't know, 10% more to anti-air just, it seems okay, but I kind of feel like I want more radar, so let's do that. And then up here on the top skills, um, I could do this, right? I could get an extra 0.7% um, or 0 0.7 degree per second. But I'm pretty sure these turrets traverse pretty quickly anyways. 18 seconds rotation time isn't bad. So maybe what I'll do instead 
is use jack of all trades because that'll get me down on being able to use all of my consumables faster. Okay, so let's do it. Boom! And what do you know, there's carriers in the queue. And what do you know, bottom tier. A tier 8 carrier, so that's exciting. Now this thing plays out like Cleveland. It's got the Cleveland hull and all that. I believe it's got a little bit more HP than a regular Cleveland. Um, all right, and it's got 10 kilometer radar, five kilometer hydroacoustic search. Um, and I think I want to see my anti-air range. That draws a lot of circles on the mini map. Uh, I'll leave it off for now. I can see down here, I've got 5.8 kilometer anti-air range. Um, Starts. ship like this, in a mode like this, you might want to go and camp some islands. This is a really nice island to camp here, I think. Uh, and this is a... too big. And so this one, it's got that big shelf on it. Since I'm all the way over on this side, I'm going to be forced to play on this side. And it's my anti-air. And we'll see what happens. Implacable is divisioned with a North Carolina and a Takao. It's kind of interesting. You would play a cruiser like a Takao in a division with a carrier, because you know you're guaranteeing another carrier. And Takao doesn't exactly do well against carriers. That's okay. Um, Cleveland is slow. Emma. As usual, the initial stages of the battle are quite boring. Sorry for that. Quick torpedoes by the Harukumo. Possibly using torpedo reload booster to um, get that down a bit. That's interesting. Yeah, why not? Defensive fire, go. Let's see how good this anti air is. Well. Oh. It's pretty nifty. Anti air is still going for a little bit longer. Not really necessary, so. I'm gonna turn anti air off and back on again. Speed up my reload. Oh, there's the Harugumo. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Why do I have AP loaded? Have a well. Alright, well. I'm being targeted by two ships. Battleships are on that side. North Carolina. Ugh, of course. Spotting would come in really handy right here. Obviously, I don't really feel like taking a bunch of battleship shells. Good, the carrier's chasing after the Harugumo. Who's apologizing to the Montana? The Zhao? What do you do, twerp him? Um... I'm gonna start moving. 
My Montanas are not pushing up. The Kerfers is about to come around the corner. So I think it's a good idea to change course here. Um, of course, right when I'm doing that, C is starting to get capped. Shouldn't cause I kill the Amagi, that's unfortunate. Oh, the curve first decided to turn back in, that's interesting. Let's see if I can enable this ship to shoot in this little gap here. Yes! Come on, resets. Come on, resets. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Decap, XP, go. Being targeted by four ships, though. I don't like seeing that. Good, Shimakaze Torkishima. That's good. Just in case the Otago ends up... Oh, I should probably switch to AP. Yep. AP go! It's too late now, he's turning away again. Oh well. Hydro on! Citadel! He's turning in. Yep. Oh, who's hitting me? Hargumo. Go away, Hargumo. There's the torpedoes I thought were coming. And I'm probably gonna get killed right here. Dodge. Ship is on fire. Oh, thanks, Tarugumo. <laughs> well done. I mean, seriously, <laughs> you could have saved me here. <laughs> Oh, 554. Okay, now I need to go, I need to go, like, stealth. Who's detecting me now? Okay, good, nobody. Ooh-wee! Dodged a big one here, guys. Somehow one of the Montanas that was over here died. Oh. Is he all the way up there? That would be unfortunate. Hmm. I don't like seeing this. Defensive fire, go! for somebody else instead of me. Now I can sit behind an island and be a pain in the butt. This island will not survive. That's okay though. Once again, thanks, Aragumo. Montana is getting farmed, and there's nothing I can do about it. 
That's alright. We have a ship lead, we have the calf lead, so of course our team is going to throw. So right now my job is to not get into the guns of an enemy ship. And of course that has to happen. Whew. Now the gearing smokes up. What is it with these destroyers and just smoking for themselves? Okay, I wanted to stay outside the smoke, but I'm going to have to go into the smoke so that I can not get hit by this guy's bombers. Actually, switch back. Switch back to the right. Come on. Defensive fire, go! Slowing down, checking my position. Anti-air off, anti-air back on. Oh good, the Hargumo's dead. Kamikaze's almost dead. Our Hargumo's almost dead. Got 36 seconds until I get run out of smoke. Hmm. seconds. Wow, that was great. Argumo is choosing not to smoke anywhere. And we win. Okay, well, I hope that gave you a <laughs> bit of a preview there of what you can do in the Montpellier. As always, guys, thanks for hanging out, and um, I'd love to hear some feedback. This is something brand new that I'm trying to do. Look at that. I came in second place in a Tier 10 match. Get on my level, people. All right. Uh, for those of you guys who want to see detailed reports, here you go. HE shells, 89 hits. Fire some AP. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, one secondary hit, nice. Cool. Poor, poor Arp Taco. 35k damage. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see, target hits. Uh, not too bad. 15 shatters. IFHE for the win! Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this, this little review, preview, whatever you want to call it. And again, let me know what you think. Take care all. See you later.